today, Jeremy Cuellar, the man convicted in the murder of a Bering County Army Sergeant on New Year's Eve back in 2018, attempted to withdraw his guilty plea in court today. 16 News Now reporter Ibrahim Samra was at that hearing and has more on how the family of the victim is reacting tonight. More than one year after confessing to the murder of Bering County Army Sergeant Tyrell Hassel III, Jeremy Kular is walking his confession all the way back to the courtroom, saying that taking his original guilty plea was coerced by his former attorney. But Hassel's father says that isn't true. He told me how many different times he tried to kill my son. Uh, he told me the relationship that he had with my, my, uh, my son's wife. It's a relationship that led to Hassel's killing on New Year's Eve in 2018 and a murder that Kuehler confessed to while in prison to Tyrone Hassel Jr., the victim's father. He cried. Uh, the man was in tears, so um, it, did, it did feel like he was sincere. But today, Kuehler didn't deny his confession. Rather, he says he took a guilty plea because his former attorney, Edwin Johnson, had coerced him to do it, saying he would have no chance in court if he didn't. The plea had came up, you know, all this last year when we beat it, but he was just like, you know, I already don't see no chance, I don't see no chance, like, you know, it was really on you, he was saying that, and it just made me feel like I had to take that. Do you hear by However, after testifying in court today, Johnson has a different story. Did there come a point in time in your representation when you came to believe that it was in Mr. Cuellar's best interest to plead guilty in this case? Absolutely. Do that time. I was prepared to go to trial. And Mr. Quaylar was well aware of that. I was ultimately shocked when Mr. Quaylar said not only that he wanted to take the plea, but he didn't want to plead no contest. He wanted to plead guilty because God was informing him that he needed to make it right with the family, and that's what he wanted to do. And make it right with Hassel's father, something Cular didn't deny at today's hearing. If they want to withdraw his plea if he feel like he didn't get a fair trial and he wants a fair trial. With, with the amount of information he told me, I'm confident that it, the only thing, it, it only can get worse for him. The court says it could be several months before a decision to grant or disapprove Cular's plea withdrawal can be made. Here in Barron County, Ibrahim Samra, 16 News Now.